Hello, this video is to explain how to set up your instant messaging for all of our uh, indicator alerts uh, market scanners. So the first one we've done is the C Trader Moving Average market scanner, okay? Um, we've got some previous videos. Um, I don't know if you've got this video from YouTube or the website, but if you go back to YouTube, we've got some other videos explaining how to use the uh, Moving Average instant alert market scanner. So this video is just going to show you how to set up your um, instant messages, which come in the form of um, email, um, telegram service, that's an instant messaging service, and SMS, which we all know. So those are the three core ones, and then there's just a pop-up window, but I don't need to explain that. So what I'm going to do now is just quickly show you, uh, I'll grab the indicator onto the chart or the C-bar. I don't need to explain any of this because, oops, I've done it again, because that's already been covered. I just apply those values. Um, as I said, as an alert running, I'll just turn that off. As I said, these have all been explained in a previous video. So this video is going to be used for all indicators uh, that we're going to do, which is going to have instant alerts. Okay, so if I click on this button here, um, so this is to configure your um, instant alerts. And it says moving average, but if you're looking at this from another indicator, it's exactly the same. Okay, so the email one, so this video is just going to be to show you how to set up your email. So for the email, um, you put your email address in there. So I'm going to type mine in. I'm going to put contact at clickalgo.com. Now you, you just send test email. That's all you need to do, test your email. But if you haven't set your email up with uh, Ctrader or Cialgo, you need to do that now. You just go to preferences, email settings. Uh, on here you can see that I'm using a uh, Gmail account. Um, so if you're using a Gmail account, you've got to find your server. You can do this by Google. You could just do a Google search and just say Google SMTP server or Google email settings. And it'll actually give you the values that you need to use. So you need to enable email, the checkbox. You need to use SSL. You need to put in your um, SMTP server. Oops, where do you go? You need to put in your SMTP server uh, that you're going to use. So if it's Google, it's the Gmail one. If it's Hotmail, it'll be a different one. You need to specify the port number. That's also That will also be found on the website. So I think there's also a link on CTDN that you can go to as well. Um, spot where I've already done um, an article how to set up your email, but this video is just going to show you it anyway sort of thing. Um, you use authentic, authentic, authentication, authentication. I like can't talk. Um, you check that, check that box. You put your username for your email. Okay, then you put the password for the email. Then you just click save. Um, to test that, you just put the address in there. Send that. The email was sent successfully. Okay, check your inbox. If that email wasn't sent successfully, it would actually the pop-up message would actually tell you that your email settings are wrong, and you have to go back in and up to here. Uh, email settings and you'll have to actually configure these settings they're correct what you'll probably find that oh once you've done the emails and your email settings you might have to do one more thing which is notifications I don't think you do actually show all yeah you don't have to do that ignore me I'm pretty sure it's just this okay so you just set your settings in there uh, put your email address that you want to send it to to do a test and you click send test message go to your inbox check your inbox to see if it's there and if it is and it's working you just click save and that's saved, you see it's saved there. That saved it so that when you restart the application, um, you're already, you don't have to put it in every time it's going to be saved, okay? I'm going to do another video in a minute to show you how to do Telegram settings and another one how to do message bird, message bird SMS settings, okay? 